All right, check it out. All this debris is left over from when I built this road to our cabin. Lots of trees had to come down to build this road. So knowing that I have a lot of stuff like this to move, and these are, these are big pieces, they still have to be cut down. Considering all those types of pieces and big logs like this, I needed something to move those with. And if I brought this home, you probably think you're crazy. That little cart will never withstand a season of moving a lot of big logs, rocks, and firewood. All right, this is the Groundworks cart sold by Tractor Supply. And this is a six month usage review, not a technical review, but a usage review. We've had it for six months approximately and we've put it through hell. This cart is almost 35 inches wide by 52 inches long. And it has about 18 to 20 inches of ground clearance, something like that. The biggest consideration when we bought this is we knew we were gonna haul logs, firewood, logs, things like that, rocks. And the biggest consideration was probably gonna be the way this thing was welded together. Now, it doesn't have a suspension as you can see, but it has a lot of clearance and it has a little wiggle. But we thought this thing was gonna fall apart in the first few days of using it and it has not. Another vulnerable area we thought this we were gonna have problems with is the handle here. And I guess you'd call this the tongue. And we probably could have fashioned some sort of tow hitch on there to pull with the four-wheeler. This seems to work fine with this pin. And this handle comes off. It's a plastic handle that comes off. And you can pin that right to the back of your four-wheeler or tractor or whatever you're using. Now, this might not be a good test for the first run up the mountain. <laughs> We're going to do it anyway. We're going to do it anyway. Going there. Yeah, good. Because we're going to be going over some bumps. What's your guesstimate of how long before something breaks? And what's what's the first thing that's going to break? Maybe today. Yeah, it'll break. <laughs> I'm going to guess something. I think it's something in the front. Yeah, the leaf or something. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing that's going to go. And we really don't have any tools with us. But if we can get the wagon and all the crap up the hill first, yeah, we'll make it work. That's the main thing. Here we go. And I have to say I'm impressed because the wooden picnic table would have not been. Now we have some trouble. We really did think this was gonna break. I mean it's it's not exactly real thick. These gates come off, so you could probably put longer logs in there instead of having them hang up over the top. We have, we've had no problem, and we haven't had to take these ends off yet, although you, you can, and I'm sure these are welded on there, so you're not getting the sides off. But we really did think that we were going to end up having to weld in braces and things like that, and we were okay with that when we bought it. And when we bought it at Tractor Supply, this one, I don't know if you can see this, 
this bottom rail is dented here. Now, someone that lives in suburbia and wants one of these carts just to pull around and do garden work, they're probably going to have a problem with that aesthetic. But the lady at the cash register said, we're going to give you some money off when we bought it. So we actually got a discount on it, which was great. And again, we had planned on loading in some kind of supports, but we were ready for this thing to fall apart. And it has not as of yet. So the next six months is going to be the telltale for this thing. This was a debris pile. When I came in here with the skid steer and knocked all these trees down, we're in the process of cutting them up because they were just literally just shoved off of the area here so we could put the cabin, which we call a shabin, shed cabin. And we just shoved all the trees down. And then the idea was to cut them up after we had finished the road, which we started doing. And a lot of this has been moved to piles and cut into firewood. But there's still a lot of work to go. And over here, literally, that cart has gone up and down these hills with us behind the four-wheelers with heavy loads of logs and firewood. And from the other side of the property, my wife was hauling some rocks. But I don't know if you can see how steep this hill is. But we literally have taken that thing down through there, up the other side. This thing really does well. And I always, every time I have it behind me, I think it's going to fall off. But it never has yet. But these wheels have held up. The cotter pins have not come out as of yet. Six months. And I mean, really, it's been a lot of movement with this cart. So everything seems to be checking out. And again, I can't stress enough how many times I thought everything was going to break on this thing and nothing has yet. But that's the Groundworks cart sold by Tractor Supply. And we give it a thumbs up.